If your child isn't connecting with traditional bicycles, why not try something a little different? In this review, we're taking a look at the leap from Y-Bike. Make sure before we get rolling to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. The Y-Bike will come disassembled, so be prepared to do some building with a wrench at bare minimum. The directions weren't the clearest in terms of imagery, and at times, tightening bolts could be tough due to clearance issues. Go slow and steady, it'll be worth it, since the final construction is quite sturdy. The Leap Y-Bike can be ridden in one of two ways, by sitting in a reclined position and steering with your feet, or by kneeling on your knees and steering with your hands. Either way, shifting back and forth causes the bike to move forward. It can't reach top speed as quick as a standard bike, nor does it have as high a top speed, but what makes the Y-Bike Leap special is its drifting capability. Our playtester, despite being a couple years outside the 4 to 9 age range, was all too happy to take the Leap Y-Bike for a spin. The bike supports up to 165 pounds of weight, so despite his height, he could still try it out. In summary, the Y-Bike Leap is great for younger kids to ride in flatter areas without many hills, and as an alternative to a standard bike. Do you enjoy bike riding, or are you a bigger fan of other self-powered wheeled vehicles? Let us know your preference in the comments. The Y-Bike Leap has very nice pros. It handles very smoothly and has quite unique handling compared to other riding toys. It has a very hardy construction, being able to handle up to 165 pounds, and it can easily get going even on flat ground. The only cons are the slightly taxing build process and the learning curve when it comes to turning. Therefore, the Y-Bike Leap gets four and a half out of five stars from us. It's a very unique riding toy and well executed to boot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.